The following program contains coarse language and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. In other words, y'all gonna hear some shit on this one. Listening to 106.9 Quad FM, streaming to you from Rat House Productions over at rathouse.net. That's R A T T H A U S dot net. And it's time for the world according to fear and MDI. And welcome to the world according to fear and MDI. I'm the host, I think. (laughs) (laughs) There's a good chance MDI will be solo hosting. And as you can hear from the laughter, we've got our boy snurfing on via his house. (laughs) What is going on? Oh, not much, man. So now that the snow is flying, it's a little harder to make the trek up to be in the studio. So how does it feel to be... There, <laughs> <laughs> there, but here at the same time. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's it's interesting. It's it's new, um, but I like it because now I can still be a part of this and not have to wait until springtime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll just hope that maybe we have a nice winter. Although so far, not so much. <laughs> <She's been laughs> well, I mean, maybe not for you guys. <clears throat> down here it's all right it's sunny as fuck right now i mean it's not like, warm or anything but it's sunny yeah no it's not too, oh, it's nice and sunny here it's not too, too bad we here, just but we've just gotten, gotten a lot of snow already yeah there was another what like four, three inches four three, inches four inches overnight. jesus and well yeah, you guys live in like pretty much snow central so. Dude, like it's crazy yeah it's <laughs> i was just like oh and, you know like, it's gonna you've be seen same, our huge and, fucking driveway Oh. Yes, I have. So yeah. So yeah, they are, fear and logic I, I, spent like a good hour. That well, that's why we're late. Like yeah, we, I, we I were supposed to. to snurf yeah, we were supposed to. Be you need to apologize to me. What I thought was going to be a quick fuck because I get out there first thing in the morning, and the dogs are taking a piss, and so I just I got coffee in one hand, and I'm just one. The other hand's got the shovel, and I'm just one shoveling it, drinking my coffee, and it's going really easy. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I can do this before I got shit we got to do. Yeah, that was the only fucking section that because was Because nice. the sun had been hitting it. So that part was all nice and loose and yeah. ready to be scraped <clears throat> off. But now we've got all the ice and snow off and it was ridiculous. It, it took way too fucking long and like, well, I'm dead now. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> the last time we had snow about a week ago, it fell right. Well, the last time we got snow was when you were working thursday for so i think it snowed on thursday maybe friday and logan hurt his neck and oh, yeah. shabs and i can't do the snow it's yeah. just not and it's not and it, you know um so logan hurt his neck he pulled a muscle in his neck so you were working straight and you're not getting home at 8 30 at night and shoveling the fucking laneway like yeah. i don't fucking no, blame after you. a 10 hour shift i don't feel like i that. had i had shabs go out and do the <laughs> sidewalk because she can do like very short spurts so she went yeah. out and did the sidewalk because we just have like a very short path to do yeah. um but yeah, and then after that, it was like it'll have to wait until Dad's days off. <laughs> like, well, that's, that's just funny. how it is. Like, I was excited because almost, almost every place we've owned, it's been like on, a corner on, lot, a corner lot. So finally, we don't have a corner lot. So I'm like, oh, nice. this is perfect. Uh, I only have that little chunk. No, and then I got a giant fucking driveway mm-hmm. that's like I have to make the giant decision. Way. Either I just do half of it and leave the car outside, or I do the whole fucking thing <laughs> so I can put it in the garage. So you can put the car in the garage and then have a nice warm car because our garage is heated even. Yeah. See, and that's where we're flip flopped. I got a tiny ass fucking driveway and I've got a giant walkway. Oh, yeah. No yes, shit. you do. You have a huge corner lot. Yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous. Do you so do you do you shovel it or do you have like a a blower or something? Oh no no, I shovel. I do that shit by hand, sir. Man's nice. work. Yeah. Man's work. <laughs> <laughs> well, my man's work today has told me that I need to start thinking smarter and working less hard. Yeah. 
Uh, cause, uh, I also, so I, we get done, we come in, of course, MDI is awesome. She's got breakfast made for us and coffee and, or actually cafe mocha. Cafe mocha. This waiting, well, yeah. Waiting for me and, uh, and, and, uh, of the uh, Canadian Tire Flyer. So first, yeah, because I had logic go get the mail too. I'm like, I while you're out to. there, go get yeah. the mail. So first page I turn to, there's a fucking sixty percent off or forty percent off snowblower. snowblower. Damn. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, yep, I'm buying. Yeah, that he's tomorrow. like, literally, I sat down and he's like, um, can we work this into the budget? Because fuck, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we can. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, it's a good investment. It really is. Yeah. Well, that's as long as you take care of it. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's what we're gonna have to train the kids not to fucking bugger it up. But (laughs) um, yeah. And so I looked up some like reviews and YouTube videos, and it looks like it hauls snowman. So I'm like, all right, let's let's fucking do it. Yeah, because like I, I, in many ways, like I I like shoveling snow because it's nice it's, it's a nice physical activity yeah but like, right the fuck <laughs> the ice and the amount of snow the amount of snow that fucking falls here so far is ridiculous <laughs> like you go to bed it's normal you wake up five fucking feet of snow you're like what yeah. well and we don't have that we don't have the mountain effects and everything so it's it's a heavy dense snow too yeah. like it's packing it, yeah, snow it you can like make Ontario snowman almost. and stuff like whereas not quite but exactly whereas calgary snow it's so light it's usually light and fluffy and yeah. you know what i mean like yeah. you don't have that heavy fucking packing snow yeah no that's, that's the last snow that we got last snowfall we had was all packing snow and i went out Earlier in the day, as it was still coming down, to kind of just cut it in half. And I'm glad that I did because mm-hmm. if I had a way, that there would have been an additional like <laughs> five inches that I would Jeez. have to go through. Yeah. A couple <laughs> weeks ago, we had the same thing. We had like a major fucking blizzard and it was on a Sunday. So it was Sean's last day of work. And he, sh- like, I, I'm telling Logan, I'm like, you should go out there and do the sidewalk and do a, like just a quick a quick shovel of the laneway and everything, because if you wait until it stops snowing, like it's supposed to snow so much, it's going to be so heavy and so much work. Like it's going to be so bad. So he was like, but he went out and did it. (laughs) Well, he's 12, you know, I don't, I don't blame him at all. He's never, ever fucking impressed that he has to go shovel (laughs) snow. (laughs) When I was 12, that was my job too. Well, and that's the thing. Like we, we have explained to him, like, for quite some time now, for a couple years, Andy has done way more um, chores, way more helpful thing. Like she's a girl. She helps out more. She makes dinner. She, you know what I mean? Like she does more she ha- stuff yeah, she than has he more does. Interest in that sort of thing. Well, and yeah, like she's a lot more helpful because she's a girl and kitchen stuff is easy for girls to pick up and she actually enjoys it. Yeah. So now I'm like, you're finally getting to the age where you can be more helpful. This is a way that you can help out the family. Like <laughs> dad works and brings home the money. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. explaining out how a family works to this boy. And he's like, I know I get it. But then the next time you go to talk to him, he's still like, Oh, yeah. well, I remember being 12. I don't want to do anything. Well, he even, he even gives you the, Oh, to go down and get the mail. Well, yeah, it's I- like a, th- Three minute fucking task. Oh, no, all, like, no, but it's literally bo- all, anything. both ways. I can be like, hey, can you get me a glass of water? <laughs> <laughs> I have to get yeah, up. I'm like, can you pass me the remote that's like right beside you? <sighs> oh, can you go have a shower because you haven't showered in four days and you smell? Yeah, uh, <sighs> yeah like just everything <laughs> is the worst. And after you shower, put on clean, <laughs> different clothing. Yeah. Cause he'll go have a shower and then come out in the same fucking track pants he was wearing for four days, and I'm like, dude, yeah, that's it's like my underwear is clean, <laughs> not f- not good enough. Yeah, fucking kid, I love him. He's so he's so awesome. Oh yeah, no, but it's fine. Love, love him so much. You were shaming him, <laughs> right? Podcast. Yeah, Shame. Shame. exactly. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's well, that's why you have. That's to. just how kids just, are, just man. For yeah, like. Oh, I was no different. I was, <laughs> I was pretty moody at a young age. I remember my mom once asked me why I never ran anywhere. Mm. And like, I, I don't know. I don't think it was a fat thing. Cause I wasn't really fat back no. then. No. But I was just like, why? 
I remember just being like, <laughs> why? Why do I need to run? Yeah. And she's like, what do you mean? Why? Like, look at everybody else run. I'm like, yeah, I still get there. I just, I just don't you feel like You never ran as a child? No, not really. Like, like, so did you play tag and like. Yeah. That, well, that's what I mean. Like, I, it's not like I just fucking Jason walked everywhere I went, like all fucking <laughs> creepity. But like, I, I remember my mom specifically asking me why I didn't run. Like it was, it, I, I didn't run enough that it was apparent to my mom that I was not childing right. But, but <laughs> where do you need to go that you need to be there so quick? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I'm a kid. I don't have to pay bills. I'm not going down to go to the well, grocery right. store. Oh. Oh Why aren't God. you running? Why aren't you running? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like, fuck. So my asshole friends make it there, I don't know, two minutes faster than me or whatever. Two minutes? That's a long They'll fucking still, time, man. How much fun have they had without there? you? What are they going to do? Nine times out of ten, it was my ball. It's not like they're going to play without me. They Run around. sat there and waited for you? They have to. They have to. It's the rules. He yeah. So when it. you played basketball, you'd run? Yeah, Minimally? I, I played sports. That's the part I don't get. It's not like I just couldn't run. I wasn't fucking Forrest Gump in it. I just couldn't. I just, I don't know. But it was enough that when my, you, like, to have my mom outside, pull me aside. When you played outside, you didn't run around. I guess. Fuck. I don't know. 90% of the time, I remember being on a bike. Like <laughs> that's not well, good. Right, enough. that's how active. That's how active I was. I was a, I was a bike kid. Fuck I yeah. Bike. Why the, why, who the fuck ran? Yeah, that's why? what I was saying. I was probably mad I didn't have my bike. Right. Biking is pretty much running, just seated. Exactly. Yeah. And you look cool doing it. Absolutely. See, like, I... I've never seen a guy run in and think that guy looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I played baseball, like, from the time I was four, right? So I, 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 I ran a lot playing baseball, but we also, like, my parents would make us go outside and play. It was like, go run around, go fucking well, do I mean, something. I was like, never indoors. Like... So, and but we had like a neighborhood of kids that we played with. So we would play like tag or what was that boneyard or yeah, boneyard. whatever. Like, so we'd have like four or five, um, backyards involved yeah. in the, what? in the whole thing, you know, and what we would run boneyard? around. What's boneyard? Yeah. <clears throat> How do you, yeah. Yeah. So Bo- you, usually it's played at night. Yeah, gotcha. you have two teams. Yeah, of so, like five, four or five people each. Like, it should be more than three each. Otherwise, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Fuck, I'm trying to remember. No, doesn't it start with one person? No. Everybody goes and hides, and then that person sees them, and then they're like one, two, three Maybe. in the boneyard or something like that, and they they call your name. And then oh, you I'm go to thinking the of. But then people can release other people. Yes, I'm confusing it with like. Um, capture the flag type game yeah but what did we call that when we were kids that was um like fort something like that <laughs> yeah i don't even know man <laughs> i don't even know these games I'm, i mean i'm fully aware of tag but boneyard is is new to me and you know what one thing i didn't know or even have an experience with until i moved out here that was like a decade ago now i had no idea what grounders was grounders grounders we um i just learned from andy a couple years ago yeah it's like floor is lava but on a playground set and tag at the same time yeah i'm not mistaken yeah okay so sorry i just remembered exactly how boneyard is played so yes it's it starts out with one person who's it and everybody else it, it it has to get um the point is to hide. Everybody else hides. And then that per- the person that's it looks for you. If they see you, they say, Sean, I see you go to the boneyard. And the boneyard is a determined area on it already. Gotcha. So, and then, so the people who are hiding both hide and then go rescue people that are in the boneyard. But you have to get all the way up to them and tag them on the hand or some part of their body before without they get to seen. run yes. away and hide again without the person who's it seeing you. Oh, that's shit. Yeah. Boneyard. Yeah, we used that's to play Sorry. Awesome. I was that's confusing I it in my mind game. with I, yeah, I Capture the Flag type game. Right now. I would do that <laughs> shit. I play that shit. Except right we're not now. supposed to touch each other or anything right well, now. Well, yeah, it's COVID. We, well, after COVID, post COVID. Right? I can't wait for those days. <laughs> you make it interesting. You throw a couple of paintball guns in, 
Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Why is there three, some guys dressed like the SS? So yeah, like it was it was fun because we would play it usually. We would play it in in the, day, in the daylight too because we were kids. Uh, like we played it when we were like eight, nine, ten years old. Yeah. But we would play it come dusk as well because until the lights came on, then we had to come in the house, right? Like that was pretty much all of our rule for yeah. when we were kids. Um, but yeah, we play it around dusk as well. In the, we'd play it in winter, even if it was like nice out, we'd fucking, we'd make the boneyard a big fucking, uh, um, fort like type snow fort. Snow fort. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. And Hell yeah. We, yeah. Like we, we fucking, we played outside when I was a kid, man. Like my parents made us, we spent hours outside. Well, yeah, that's what it's so funny because yeah, when we were growing up, like you're like, I don't know. My mom would always be like, Oh, where are you going to be? When are you going to be home? That kind of thing. But other yeah. than that, she had no idea where I was or what I was doing for many hours of the day. Oh, see, we were not allowed to leave our street. Like even in the summer when we rode our bikes, we weren't allowed to even go to the end of our street, like all the way to the end of our street until we were 10, 12 years old. Right. Because we had to stay close. We, we would ride to the end. Like we well not all the way to the end. We would ride to the cranky old man's house. I can't remember his name now. He used to fix all the bikes. Remember I've told you about him. Yeah, he was creepy yeah, and he yeah, fixed yeah. bikes. We used to, we used to, that was how far we were allowed to you go. You could only go to the weird guy's house. Well, yeah, like that. Cause my mother could see for, if she looked out the bay window, you know, the bay window yeah, in my yeah, house yeah, growing yeah. up, she could, that's how far she could see. Yeah. So until I was, yeah, like 10, 12 years old, I wasn't even allowed to go to the, all the way to the end of my street. My mom was like really strict with us. But think us. about how fucked that is. Okay. So that's, that's what we tell our kids is like, you can only go as far as I can. She's not watching you. Like, but you're under, not the whole time. At, no, no. But as a child, you're under the impression that if that weird guy in the bike thing grabs you at the end of the street, you're okay because your mom is watching. She wasn't. That's fucked. That that wasn't so much. I don't think that was really her. And he wasn't pervy. He was just he was mean. He wasn't nice to kids. Like if if you, you kids get out of here. No, he what if you if we turned oh, around wow. if we turned around in front of his house and yeah. touched any part of his lawn, yeah. he'd be out on the front porch fucking um shaking his cane at us. Oh my. Yeah, like he was he, he probably was loved mean. It. He probably loved it. That was his favorite times of the day. You know, as I, mean. I hope they get on there tomorrow too. <laughs> oh man! Whipper but yeah, snipper. no, like we we fuck we played outside. Like we fuck we ran around. We fucking we did everything. Oh yeah, well that's the thing. And I I, I was just, I had the O. Oh, I was allowed to go anywhere in Rio. Mm-hmm. And like yeah, so we I be was over never in the beach allowed to go like, anywhere in Merlin where I grew up. Yeah, because when when I got to the age where like 13, 14, 15, whatever, where you could be trusted to, to roam. Then it was no, you're, you, you'll go hang out on the corner. Like it was that we, they were worried whore. that no, like it <laughs> wasn't a whore thing. It was a smoker thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like, where yeah, like the they wouldn't, they didn't out. trust me to just be able to go and do what I wanted and come home at the end of the day. I, I had yeah. to be at a certain place. They had to know exactly where I was. Like I had to be at my friend's house. We weren't allowed to just go hang out in town and like go to the school and you know, like, you know what I mean? We weren't allowed. I wasn't allowed to do that. It wasn't allowed to just roam. I had to be at a specific spot at all times. And did they know, had, at all did ages. they need to know exactly who was going to be there and. Yes. Yeah. It's funny because my mom would ask oh, me. Oh, when you get there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like my mom yeah. would ask me. And as long as I would say Derek and then I would just make up three other names because she, she didn't know anybody. No, like, yeah. I, I never understood it. My parents were so fucking strict with me. I don't know. Well, my mom got pregnant at 16. Maybe yeah. that was so the problem. I was the girl. But like I really only had you as a boyfriend. Mm hmm. And ever. Yeah. I, I got good grades. One and done, baby. Like it didn't ever, I got good (laughs) grades. Like I didn't ever get in trouble. I never, ever got detention. Not once in high school. Never. Like. What's that like? Yeah. (laughs) Well, I was, I I was terrified of my parents. I was terrified. If I got a C on my report card, like, holy fuck. It, I was in so much trouble. Yeah. So like that's so that's messed up. They were always so fucking strict with me, but I never ever 
went outside their boundaries other than I talked back. Like you when they were bitch. screaming at me, I would defend myself or like I didn't talk even, back. I didn't even do that. I just sat there and took it. Open your mouth <laughs> in my household and you get one across the mouth. <laughs> Look at it. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that's the way it was at my house too. If I ever talked back, I, yeah, I'd get fucking, I'd get smacked or I'd get grounded for weeks. Um, my dad blackened my eye twice in my lifetime. Like it was uh, fun. Anyway, let's go on to something more fun. Yeah. To talk about. So this one time I murdered a whole bunch of kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we went from playing outside as children to t- childhood terrors. Well, yeah, I'm like, Sorry. Oh, we're, this is a slippery slope. <laughs> All of a sudden, Snurfin's getting punched in the mouth and we got shit going on. Over here. So, okay. So you didn't play Boneyard or anything like that. Um, what, what, other than like riding your bike, what, what did you do as a, as a young Snurfin? Oh, fuck. Uh, well, we all had toy guns and shit, so we just played Imaginary War because that's what kids did. Yeah, me too. See, so we were um, not allowed. We never had guns at, in oh, any man, shape I had or form. We, oh, no, that's not true. Yeah, we were, were allowed to have water guns in the summer, but they could not look like real guns. Oh, my. Your my mom sucked. was My mom was like adamant about that. No. Hey, uh, Snurvin, did you ever have I, – I had an Uzi cap gun. And it was like a, a string. So, oh, yeah. insta- okay. So, you know, the ones that are like the six shooter that you put in, they're red. Like the, like, okay, like hold the on, hold on. Like the plastic ones with yeah. the little, that look like an actual bullet loop thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they, they they were those, but they're in a straight line. Oh yeah. 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 And so then it fed through the, the clip of the Uzi. Just like a, a re- oh, that's cool. And it took a battery and it would just go that. And it was so oh. fucking cool. Oh, and it, yeah, I had a pump was, action shotgun that was similar to that, what? but like, yeah, yeah. And it was like a big guy too. It wasn't like a little tiny fucking measly cap gun. This was like a $35 at Toys R Us when I was a kid. <laughs> fucking Fuck yeah. Took the, That's took a lot of stripper. money when we were God kids, right. man, in that the 90s. That was the cream of the crop, baby. But yeah, dude. Took the stripper clip. They were yellow instead of red. They nice. were a little bit thicker. And then, you, yeah, you shuck, shuck, and pat. <laughs> wow it was like my favorite thing ever it's funny whenever me and mdi travel if we will usually pull off somewhere to like use the restroom or fuel up and we always look for like a general store because we buy the kids those cap guns because they you can still get them but like yeah. at the weird it has, like, little yeah you have general to find them at little places. freaky stores yeah and yeah so i'm sure the kids got several cap guns because we just bring them home and they yeah. pop them up <laughs> for a bit and whatever it's fun but yeah, like that shit just so reminds me of being a kid. Like, see, and I want to buy like them for the, the kids because I think they're cool. We only ever got to use them when we were at other people's houses because my brother, my Adam, got given a, a cap gun once, and my mother made him throw it out. Like Jeez, she was, it was bitch. not allowed to have guns. Yeah, no kidding. She was, <laughs> she was very against guns. I know, I know. You, and it's funny because when we, like, when uh, Logic came around, you were kind of anti-gun to me well because that's how i was raised <laughs> and like my mother was really pissed when we started giving when we started giving him guns she was not impressed look it, i it's the best and now they got way cooler <laughs> guns than we had yeah like the fucking oh. nerf guns now are i was ridiculous. just gonna say dude oh my god these nerf <laughs> weapons are like they're tactical fucking weapons I, they're like insane magazines and clips and belt feeds and, and they fucking- they fucking make them for girls too man they make purple fucking bullets bullets with pink like pink tips Fuck yeah and they make like there's all there's a whole line that's meant yeah. for girls too like it's fucking cool or dudes that want to be fabulous you don't well, know. Well, who cares yeah whatever but, but no the guns are actually amazing. like pink and purple and, oh it's ridiculous yeah. like i can only imagine like they, they, they've got some fucking crazy shit and that stuff started happening like outside like the end of my childhood into mm-hmm. my late teens and i started seeing these on shelves i'm like where in the fuck was all of this <laughs> yeah, yeah we didn't we when i was teenagers. a kid yeah we were like late teenagers by the time those came out like, yeah. fuck me. they got all the cool toys and we got i mean we got well, gi joes and shit oh well, yeah <laughs> hand me down gi joes yeah shit, that's right that? hand me down hand me down and, and you know cap guns and stuff but like yeah. we didn't have those cool fucking toys like no uh, one of the one of the coolest toys we did have uh was the super soaker and yeah. in the original the original 150s that came out the i with the, the yellow and the yeah, neon fucking exactly tank. yeah 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 that one and you got a pump it, till your arms tired exactly <laughs> but then you could fucking just right across your buddy's back because it fucking yeah. stung him 
Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the new Super Soakers. They're not like that. They've totally pushed them down. Oh, pushed man. Up. Yeah. It's fucking you bullshit. Heard yeah. And then I remember, <laughs> fuck, I remember Lehman had the 300, and that motherfucker it was a double bearer cocksucker that you had on your fucking back. Yeah, I remember that. And you would knock dudes over with that shit. Like <laughs> in, oh in the early God. days, Super Soaker didn't give a fuck. They were there no. to tear people up with water. Right. They didn't care. Yeah, you get, you're gonna come home with some some water wells. It's gonna happen. If <laughs> if if Soda Stream had been back then, those two could have oh merged, <laughs> and we would just would have had the best a fucking CO2 toys. Powered. Right. Water rifle. Yeah. If that's not a thing, Snurfin, look into this. We need to make it a thing. We're going to make millions. It'll be the Patent next penning. thing. Patent penning. Patent penning. That's right. Trademark to what FM. <laughs> you cocksucker. You know what? Like, as you're talking about all these toys and stuff, I'm, I'm thinking to my, I would love to see, like, not that there would have been one, but I would love to see your mother's budget back then. Like, because you grew up welfare or like very low income child. Yeah. But you, your mom always made sure you had the coolest fucking toy. You had the toys. Yes. Yeah, most of the stuff you didn't have the most expensive stuff always, but yeah. you, and you had almost every video game system, like, like her budget, like, but at the same time, like food, like it had to have been yeah. like 80. Well, 40% toys, like her budget, 40% yeah. toys, 30% cigarettes, because you know that's true. Um, 4% food. Yeah. Because, like, you ate the shittiest food in the world. But I was highly entertained. Yeah. Like, yes, were. <laughs> it canned food. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. No, I, her budget I ate was a lot so of skew food. screwed. Skewed? Skewed. I that's the word I'm looking for. When Craft Dinner came around, like, I don't, I don't know if. I don't even know when Craft Dinner started, but I remember like when, <laughs> when we started buying. When we, yeah. Like it was a big fucking It was. Deal. It was a big deal. And I would was, say 94, 95 was yeah. when all of a sudden Craft Dinner was like a thing in our huge. household. It was huge. Yeah. yeah. And, Pantry's yeah. got like 50 boxes just stocked, just sitting there. Oh, waiting. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. They were so cheap at, at oh, the time. Oh, we never had that much. My mother was oh, very. Oh, no. I lived conscious. off that shit. No, we were not allowed. You know what? Because I, it's so funny because I, I when I think about the food that I ate, like it was, it's not good. none of it's I good. Know, I don't know right? how I'm here no. to be honest, but like, yeah, like everything was just junk that I ate. You, yeah, you survived on craft dinner and fucking like, did yeah, you like eat I spaghettios and shit like that. Oh yeah, and yeah. anything that came out of a can, that's what I ate. Pretty so much. nasty. Yeah, see, we, I mean, I mean, very similarly, grew up in a, a single parent household. My brother and I. And there's seven years between us, so. Um, we had a lot of KD and cheap foods as well. And I remember quite regularly having craft dinner, either with hot dogs or something thrown in it to, to oh, shush it up. Yeah, a that was bit. a good day when there yeah. was wieners in there. That was... Here's the thing. <laughs> to this day, now, I don't eat craft dinner um, just because I can't. I, I joke with my wife and tell her it tastes like poverty. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, I get it. Uh, I get it. And he, and here's the flip side. So her growing up, she grew up in a. Her mother's a doctor, so she grew up in a pretty, well, cushy income home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Craft dinner for them was a treat. Yeah, it was for us too. A treat. I'm like, that's a treat. I'm like, well, I ate that shit for fucking dinner yeah. like three nights a week. That was no treat. That was a meal. That was dinner. Yeah. No, that treat. was not dinner for us ever. It was lunch, but it had to be eaten with hot dogs or hamburger. We we uh, fried hamburger and add hamburger, and we called it scarferoni. That was our family's thing. I don't know if that's I don't know. Yeah, I, no, but you know what? I wish I would have thought would, of that shit. Uh, yeah, right. We had hot dogs because hot dogs. Was yeah, cheap. hot dogs. Was we did, we, yeah. <laughs> nobody put ground beef in our craft. That would have been fucking dope. No, Try it when you snurf it, dude. Oh yeah, seriously. No, if you do it, get do some it ground now. beef. It's good. Season it. Like you, you would for like spaghetti or something and yeah. in, in one box. Or you know well, what? I'm... Don't buy KD then. Don't buy actual craft dinner. Buy um buy another brand, like a, <coughs> the Annie's brand. They're not bad. <coughs> you know what is Sorry. actually the best <coughs> is the fucking PC white cheddar. Oh yeah, that's oh fuck yeah. PC white cheddar is off. Awesome. Have that with fucking ground beef, man. It'll blow your mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, However, we still have that. It's not a matter of one noodle. It's a matter of 
Your boy Snurfin's on a diet. Well, that's uh, true too. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, you were telling <clears throat> me. Do you get cheat days ever? Do you do a cheat day at all? My my upcoming cheat day, I think I'm going to try to fold a day and a half in there. It's going to be Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Oh, oh God. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> but um, You got to no, wait I'm that holding... long for your next cheat day? I'm making myself wait that long. I don't want to have too many cheat days because I really yeah. want to get this to get this weight off. But yeah, yeah. two weeks, thirteen pounds. Hey, wow, man. What good for you! Congrats, yeah, fuck yeah, hell yeah. It's, it's gonna be awesome. a skinny bitch soon. <laughs> Sweet, skinny bitch. <laughs> Sweet. We'll put our Uggs on and go down to the old Starbucks there. And- <gasps> yeah, I said the same yeah. thing to you yesterday in bed. Pumpkin spice latte <laughs> all day, every day. Yeah, it's weird. Both you and <laughs> you and Snurfin are my skinny bitches. <laughs> he was, um, he had a fistful of boob, and he was like, "They're so small now." And I was like, "Yep, that's what happens." And he's like, "I feel like I've you're like my skinny bitch boob." <laughs> so that was our discussion yesterday. Well, yeah, well, that, whatever. I guess uh, TMI, but we always TMI on here. But yeah, so just it was because. MDI used to be bigger. Now she's a lot, a lot smaller and everything is a lot smaller goes. Yeah. It goes in that sort of direction. So it's funny. Cause I was just ma- saying how like I I've had bigger girl and a littler girl and it's really, it's been the same girl, but I've been able to experience both <laughs> uh, just with one chick. So I thought that was interesting. And, uh, and then, yeah, she said she'd be my skinny bitch and then, and you're going to be my skinny bitch too. And <laughs> Hopefully in a different way. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, I, 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 well, I can't say you know. I've groped him yet, but uh, it could happen in due time. Yeah, you know, well, hopefully yeah. the next time you see him, he won't have a fistful of boob for you to grab. There you, <laughs> there you go. Hopefully but not. yeah, it's, it, that's awesome, man. It's definitely very cool, and and uh, and I look forward to kind of hearing how how everything works out for you. Um, yeah. I haven't. I'm not actively really trying to do anything and and the last time i went to the doctor i was down 12 pounds i think fuck yeah dude yeah so but it had been months but it's since been you months yeah, yeah like it was i was just happy June, to, to be under the 300 again that was nice yeah and that's what it is for me yeah i'm like i started at 300 now i'm 287 nice which that's is awesome. which is which is nice yeah it's great um 300 and 300 plus just sucks, dude. It sucks right? to sit, sucks to sleep because you fucking have to be on your side or whatever. And that doesn't always work out. You're always snoring. always feel fucking tired the next morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep apnea is a bitch. Oh, yeah. 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 That's that's awesome, man. And that's the thing. And that's like kind of the mentality we all have should have is like you're never it's never too late to start you know yeah absolutely you, right you just got to get started um but yeah that's that'll probably be next on our list is we're talking about maybe more getting some, some more fitness in our life and just kind of trying to get back on the the healthier trend like this whole year has been tough because it's you well know, with covid and everything we can't go out and, and do stuff and like and, yeah well, it's right. just crazy they're closing down gyms again not that we would go because i'm immune compromised anyway yeah and that's the thing like you can't go to a gym and and you know fraternize with different people because of me mm-hmm. and we're we're having issue with shabs and she's complained herself like she's like i'm gaining weight because i can't do anything yeah um, so yeah, we're looking at maybe getting some like aerobic steps so we can do like old school aerobics or something, just something to get our bodies moving, but be in the house because it's too cold and slippery. Like I'm, <laughs> it's too, it's too risky for me to go do stuff outside because I'll fall and fucking hurt myself. Yeah. Fuck that. So yeah, we have to do stuff in the house. <laughs> but yeah. It, and that's cool. Cause like before we moved here, um, I did a biggest loser at, the place I was working at at the time, I ended up winning. Yeah. This is Ontario 10, yeah. 12 years ago. And, uh, oh, wow. 10 yeah. years ago. Sorry. And, uh, all I did was the, uh, Wii, the Fit. Wii Fit. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, man. I, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to make this work. And every night I would do the, the Wii Fit, I would go through the course or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah. The whole and, thing. Um, and then, yeah, just in like the house we were, living in had like a what would you like a furnace right in the the room or whatever mm-hmm. so i would just set up right beside it and kind of crank it up a little bit so i'd get a real good sweat going <laughs> while I'm doing it. yeah 
And, uh, and yeah, man, I ended up, I don't, do you remember how much weight I lost? You lost over 25 pounds. I think it was close to 30, I think. Yeah. It was, and you won like four or 500 bucks. Yeah. Cause each week you did it, you paid into it. Yeah. You had to pay a dollar to be weighed yeah. and to keep sure. going in the, in the, in the competition or whatever. Yeah. So it was, it was cool, man. And I was really determined cause I knew we were moving out here and I was like, I need, you need some extra cash. Well, I need any money I can to to get us out here. So I was just like, well, I could lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Well, at the time, well you were he- oh, heavier than you are now. Even you had Logan Woods was very young. You had gained quite a bit of baby weight, mm-hmm. even though I didn't. Oh yeah, no, I had sympathy ate for the two of us. You were both my pregnancies. <laughs> you oh, yeah. gained. I like literally. Like I'm a big girl, but I gained like at the most 10, 12 pounds with both my pregnancies. And that was including fluid and everything in my legs Yeah, because I, I lost like crazy in the first trimester with both my pregnancies, mm-hmm. um, more with Andy than <clears throat> with logic. But, um, yeah, you gained weight when I was pregnant. It was like, oh, my wife is pregnant. So I got to eat <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you'd be like, for two, man. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, well, bring me home a burger. And so I'm like, all right. And then I'd get a full meal to myself. <laughs> just like, I just took yeah. advantage like a fat ass. I was just like, mm, I'll take some of that too. <laughs> yeah. And then after Shabs was born and everything, I was really sick. Then yeah. when I was in the hospital, then you ate like crazy. Apparently. Oh yeah. No, I didn't I know was, until after. I, cause I, I definitely stress eat. I've, I've gotten a lot better at it, but yeah. like back then, and I would go home, uh, from when, from like visiting you guys or whatever. And I'd go home and I would eat two double Big Mac meals, the entire meals. Jesus. Yeah. And he did that for like two weeks. Yeah. Like it was ridiculous. Like I tried to supersize myself. And uh, well, he thought I was gonna die for quite some time, so he just like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Oh, shove McDonald's in my yeah, face. Like, thinking about it now, like I can't. Like even the other day, we had McDonald's, and it was the first time in like forever. Yeah, and I barely finished it. I was just like, Jesus, I I ate two of these. Yeah, with, with <laughs> fries it's and drinks. Amazing how the stomach like, can what stretch. The fuck? That's the problem. Oh, it's crazy. If the stomach, if the stomach, if the if the organ was not able to stretch as much as it was, mm. or as much as it does, obesity would not be a thing. Yeah. No, we they be dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm like, I want it to stretch a little bit, but not as much as it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. What the fuck are we even talking about now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We're talking fuck? about fatness and wanting to be less fat. Yeah, no, and, okay. And I'm on a diet. That's yes. right. Okay. And he's yeah. lost weight. He's doing Jesus. well. This all stemmed from Kraft Dinner. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What a Go tangent. down the fucking hole, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Rabbit hole. What did I do with my what, pen? What? No, oh, that's no, that was awesome. It's that's hilarious. Right. We've talked this long, and I, and I honestly don't think, dude, even you said have anything. to look at your notes. I know. I, I don't even know. I, I hope I have notes. Let me. See. <laughs> I usually do some weird, wacky ones without explanation. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on. I gotta look this up real quick. What do you got? What do you got on your notes? I'm like, you're wondering. I'm interested. I've got, I think. I need to hear your stories. I think I've known anybody in my entire life who has weird, funny stuff happen to them all the time. <laughs> yeah, man. All the time, dude. But like, like that should never happen. I don't get that stuff. None of that shit ever happens to me. All the cool stuff or funny stuff happens when I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. All right. So I do have my, I do have a few notes here. Uh, the first one that is really cool. Um, I already, what? I just remember something. Go ahead. What'd you remember? Nothing. Keep going. For fuck's sakes, woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, so there was announcement, uh, on Tuesday, November the 17th, that the university of Alberta researchers believe that they have found a cure for diabetes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which um, is fucking amazing. So, yeah, it says uh, coming out of Edmonton, scientists at the University of Alberta say that they may have discovered a cure for diabetes. So far, the research team has been able to cure diabetes in mice using a new stem cell process and is hopeful that the process will translate to humans. 
and uh, yeah and so it's pretty crazy they say that they're now at a point where they can reliably manufacture insulin producing cells from patients blood who have type 1 or type 2 diabetes and have been doing now for the last several months in the lab <clears throat> putting these cells into a diabetic m- mouse and reversing diabetes to the point where it's essentially cured shit no and, shit, eh? Yeah, so, it, and then they just go on to talk about how if it's either, because they're using stem cells and they're using your own cells, it the, the your body won't reject it because it's using your it's own your cells. cells. <clears throat> and that's, that's where they want to go with science, right? Uh-huh. Is uh, uh-huh. using individuals' own things to cure them. That's awesome. And so that's, that's one thing that I kind of want to talk about because I know, um, like MDI is diabetic and mm-hmm. uh and that's something that we've talked about quite a bit on the show and just I I was curious did you think that in your lifetime that's something that you would see maybe maybe not even the cure but just s- something more manageable than what we have um yes because it's been very highlighted in American TV shows curing diabetes has been a very big um, storyline in Grey's Anatomy and like, like all the big doctor shows. Oh, okay. Curing diabetes was even a big storyline, um, way back on ER, uh, like years ago. I remember them talking about curing diabetes and trying to figure out how to cure the pain, how to make, take the pancreas out of the fucking equation and blah, blah, blah. Not the pancreas. That's the wrong thing. Or is it the right thing? The pancreas? No, that's what does your Yeah. Insulin. Okay. Sorry. I yeah. just, I'm sucking this myself. Um, <laughs> So I, I did now, I'm not sure if it will be something that I'll actually get, like, I'm just not sure yet. I'm hopeful. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it'll go to like rich people first. It won't be like free or like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It won't be covered by, um, like our benefits or whatever for years or something something. like that. I don't know. Like if it's something that I don't know, I'm just saying I'm I'm saying it's gonna take time. Well, in yeah, my yeah. opinion, diabetes is a big fucking deal. Like if you gotta you gotta cure for that. You hand that shit out. You well, I would the government so. can buy it. Like yeah, well that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> well, it's you, our own fucking government. That's it's it's right here in Edmonton for fuck's sake. So. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, that's that's where my curiosity is peaked. If this is something that because. I mean, you, some for some people, they get it because of poor diet or exercise or that sort of thing. And then some folks just get it because they, they it's something born happens, with it. Right. Yeah. So like. To me, if you essentially have the cure for something, I mm-hmm. think that's just something that everybody should have access to. Yeah, I would think so. Well, because it should he, be like a vaccine. Like, well, uh, yeah, exactly. Polio or whatever. Ish. Yeah. Like it's not but because you'd have to treat yeah. it differently. But no, I know. at the end of the day, no, I think that is a perfect analogy because if they cure the if they get a vaccine for the coronavirus, that's going to everybody. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have to pay for that shit because that's fucked. Right. Yeah. But. But it's different because it's a lot, it's a lot more money to, it would cost a lot more money to, for each individual. Like if, if I were to go in and have this done, it probably costs a hundred, fifty, hundred thousand what thousand dollars. You know yeah, what I mean? Something like that, yeah. Whereas an individual vaccine for people costs pennies. Mm. And that's why. Yeah. Cause it's just one thing, right? You don't have to. Uh, specialize it to that person mm-hmm. and their style. Yeah. Yeah. Because vaccines are developed and then they're mass produced. Mm-hmm. So each like a flu shot costs 35 fucking cents. I bet like there's, it's nothing. Mm-hmm. Whereas this procedure, because you'd have to go into the hospital, there's doctors involved. There's all this high techie shit. It'll cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to have this. So that's why I'm thinking, and I'm like my, my whole, maybe I'll get it by the time I'm 50. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, going like to take it time. Well. Yeah. I'm kind yeah. of curious. But you know what? I'd be grateful for it. Even if I have to wait till I'm 50, if I can get there, fucking a, why not? Yeah. <clears throat> one less fucking right. thing. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you'd think though that based on that research, you'd be able to apply stem cells to help attack other things, not just diabetes, right? 
Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. It's opening up other, other, other doors. Absolutely. Yeah. Because like I remember when more doors, I remember when stem cell research was just kind of coming to light and there were a lot of people who were like, Oh, whoa, 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 no, no. Yeah. You know, yeah it was super frowned upon. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it, it just makes sense. Why, why would you try to research these things with using other I don't want to, biological ingredients other than our own. Like, yeah. Yes, it's crazy. Well, it's, it's just, almost just like, a high uh, thought. Well, it's almost, right? like, <laughs> well, it's almost like an overthought, right? Yeah. Like, like people think too much into it. Like, I don't know. I, I think at a certain point that that is like our form. Well, our, our intelligence is our, our, for our form of evolution. Right. So yeah, really, absolutely the next step would be to be able to use our own cells to fix our own bodies. Right. Yeah. And improve our own bodies. Well, and that's just it. Like, and that's why like these studies that come back that are so inclusive that they're willing to say, yeah, we think we have the cure. Like it's not a, it's not like, Oh, things, things are looking good. Things are no, the, these motherfuckers are like, oh, we think we've got it. Yeah. Like yeah. We've, we've been doing it for several months. We're doing it consistently. Like <clears throat> these mice are like good now. Yeah. We can, we can give them all kinds of fucking sugar and their blood levels stay <laughs> fine. Well, and like, I mean, that is the other gigantic side of it is the whole, like we could really stop putting sugar in literally everything that we make and consume. But, uh, I mean, if you've watched any of the documentaries, that will never happen. No. Big, big sugar got deep pockets. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, they do. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, I think I only got one more. That's pretty cool. But what else you got? I, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. No, normally, <laughs> I don't do like kind of serious shit, but that's fucking pretty cool. I mean, that's worth noting. That is worth talking about. Absolutely. Not one, because it's it's our province that's fucking crushing it. But at the same time, like that, <laughs> it's also Canada crushing it, which is always great. Fuck yeah, and, Canadian uh, pride. Fucking A. But like, I don't know. It's just it's so silly. Like the I don't know. What were we talking about this morning laying in bed? And I said, you should make a note. We should talk about that. Uh, he didn't make the note, so he doesn't know. No. Is it, well, his phone was out of reach. <laughs> yeah. He charges his phone across the room. So when it, the alarm goes off, he has to get out of bed to turn it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good way to do it. If it's within arm's reach, I'm hitting snooze and I'm fucked. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna beat him because that drives me insane. I hate I hate hitting snooze and then falling back to sleep and waking up again in five minutes and falling that fucking drives me insane. Kick him. Yeah, well, that was the thing. Like when I worked up north and I was like living by myself or whatever, I would have my iPad, my phone, the alarm clock in the room, <laughs> like everything would go off because <laughs> uh, like. I, all within five minutes of each other <laughs> oh yeah exactly because yeah if it's close enough i'm jumping back into bed and just yeah to you're off food. you're terrible. i am fucking terrible i've gotten a lot better oh yeah oh yeah because back, i don't allow no. it anymore i'm like yeah. no fuck this get the fuck out of bed yeah but uh that, is, that, that has never been my thing i, I can't I, I always i snoozed like once or twice and felt worse Yes. Then the oh, first yeah. time I woke. <laughs> yeah. And that's how I am too. That's that's why I hate it. I, I when I wake up, I I want to get up. I want to be awake. Yeah. If I fall back to sleep and snooze for five minutes and then get woken up again, it's I, it makes me cranky or something. Like it's just not, I don't know. It's yeah. just something about it. You don't, it's not that first wake up, good morning. Like it's it's yeah. annoying. Well, it's like the other <laughs> the other day we woke up at like 6 30 or whatever. Yeah. And like we were both Right wide awake, awake but we're like let's go back to sleep and then when we got i think we got up at nine or whatever and i was like Ugh. you were you were like <laughs> i should have yeah. just got up in the first we place slept till like 9 30 wake up but yeah, yeah well we laid in bed and chit chatted for quite some time we were awake at six six o'clock or so and then we, i think we didn't go like actually go back to sleep till seven seven thirty and yeah. then we slept till nearly 10 and then it was like oh my god <laughs> yeah there's got a it's funny I, like i wish it was like a video game and you could kind of see like the bar of your sleep because there's got to be like <laughs> certain sections you know like because there's like the power nap where yeah it's within what a half an hour and it's you, you wake up and you're like fuck yeah, like, fuck yeah fuck, that, was that was a great nap. fucking nap i can't have power naps no? i don't do them 
Sometimes I can, but that's what I mean. Like, I wish it was a game and you could see. Unless your bar, they're so like no, unplanned. <laughs> when you could do it. Like, because there's got to be a section. Like, if we fell back and it's like an hour, yeah, you fall just enough into that deep sleep that you're just like, you don't want to be awake, you know? Yeah. Like, that's how it's got to be. Can find the window. Yeah. You got to find that perfect window. And that, that was the 630 or whatever, when I like, we naturally woke up and we were fine. That's, we should have got up because after that I tried to go back to sleep and I, I don't know, you don't know what goes on the brain. Maybe it took a while for me to find the right channel of dream. I wanted to watch at that yeah, moment. Who knows? who knows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were cranky cause you'd had a bad dream. Oh, probably stupid brain. Yeah. You stupid subconscious. Yeah. Right. I hate uh, <laughs> dream. My dreams torture me, man. It's yeah. terrible. It I wish I could true. turn my fucking dreams off. Oh my god, my mint kush is almost gone. Oh my god, you crazy person. <sighs> Snurfing, have you tried this mint kush yet? Kush, uh, from kush mints. Kush mints. Kush, kush mints. It's by okay. the back forty. Yeah. Right. I think you were telling me about this the other night. And no, I don't think I have yet. You got to try it. It's so Yeah, good. Cushman's is really good. And at Quest, it's Quest has so a Cushman's good. strain that's really good right now. Is it minty or just? Uh, I the have, extract is the like extract fucking is, minty yeah. as fuck. Yeah, it's like gotcha. chew, chewing weed gum. Like yeah, like <laughs> I was, <laughs> I had to go get him from work the other night. And then he wasn't quite finished. He's like, I'm sorry. He had like um, accessories come in. So he wasn't quite finished, like accepting all of his accessories. So he he made me wait 10, 20 minutes. But anyway, I just sat and like vaped this mint Kush or Kush mints. Mm. And uh, when he get, when he got in the car, he's like, God damn, it's minty in here. (laughs) Yeah, no, no, it smelled awesome. But uh, it's, it's awesome because it's so minty. Like it just opens everything up. I'm like yeah, uh, you're. you're I, like, we you're are loving everything really by good. this back forty though. Like yeah, back forty. I haven't even heard of back forty. Yeah, I don't know. We just got them in this week. And then I've got a super lemon haze, forbidden fruit, which is their indica. Yeah, the forbidden the, that one and, is uh, so good. The Cushman's and yeah, they're mm. all they're all excellent. And they're like it's funny because at first when we got them, we didn't like the mouthpiece because it's. Like, it's just a round mouthpiece with a hole in the center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just no, like there's no like groove or anything. No, on. no, no. Yeah. No tip. Yeah. No, nothing. But <laughs> honestly, it hits way better that it way. It hits so smooth. You don't like you barely <laughs> you barely have to suck. There you go. But like, you know what I mean? Some some distillates like they're they're difficult and you have to figure out like it's like a low and slow or a hard and fast or a hard and slow like it's so fucking yeah some of them are fucking (laughs) you have to figure them out it's like they're fucking they're bitchy little cunts well and it sucks to go from like because the ready can train wreck i have is one of those like groove ones that you kind of you have to pull pretty hard. You have to really pull on it and to get anything out of it. And then if you switch to something from B40, then all of a sudden you take you're a big fuck, hit your and your lungs, lungs are dying. Are ex- you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, even this one here, this one is the Glow Hybrid. Uh, oh, by Trailblazer. Trailblazer. Yeah. This Tastes one's- good? Tastes like cherry? <clears throat> um, yeah, this, yeah, a little bit of cherry. See, to me, it's kind of- in the beginning, it's very fruity and cherry, and but it has a soapy aftertaste yeah. for me. It's not horrible. It's not re- like I'm still using it. It's it's nice. But, yeah, uh, I know what you mean though. Like that that thrills gum kind of. Yes, mm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. It's kind of flowery, soapy. But yeah, it's it's got a it's got a nice tip, and it's it's not horrible to to pull off of, but. Mm. It's uh, it's not as bad as the yeah the yeah the red super lemon not, hazes are oh, or no, no, no the, oh, yeah. the trainer that's right sorry so yeah so well, the, next time I uh, oh, next ahead, time I come up I, yeah sorry next time I come up I'm gonna bring my Pax era um, oh, okay. this thing's fucking wicked and I got a cartridge right now it's the the unplug from Soleil oh yeah um, I don't remember what its actual strain is sour Kush maybe but I, it tastes it is, yeah. Just like a London fog, like Earl Grey tea, cream, sugar. It is so fucking tasty. And it's like a nice mild, like if you're just looking for like a good chill, not like a, not like a put you in the couch, whatever. Like just a, I need to Mm de-stress a a small touch here. That's what that, yeah, Mm. yeah, that's what that's good for. But yeah, it's just like fucking London fog. It's unreal. 
Unreal. Wow. I think we might. You might have to send me in. pictures of what this is, Snurfin. What the London Fog or the, the no the, the thing he's smoking <laughs> so oh. I can find if it I, no I think oh the I, I think it's coming in oh you mean the Pax Air yeah the Pax Era 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 you know Era. Era. here I'll send you a picture right now while we're talking because I'm because I'm not came. a Pax girl I'm an Argo girl right hmm. I might I might have to think about this it's true you never know. One so, second. So yeah. So I, while he's sending that, I do have another. <laughs> I have another uh, show note here. It's, I only got the one, but this one was a doozy. <laughs> um, this happened at work this week, and uh, it was both scary and super fucking weird. So go on. So, go on. He's his interest yeah. is peaked. So yeah. So and so, <laughs> as you guys know, I I I work at a cannabis shop. I never say where or anything like that. But um, oh, as does Snurfin, just in a different yeah, exactly. city we're, and different we're your local bud tenders. You know how we do. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, so where I work, it's the nuttiest fucking place. And uh, like the store is great. The location is scary. And uh, <laughs> so we we always get like super strange people. And it's it's the equivalent of working like right downtown or not downtown 17th Ave, like right on like crazy 17th Ave area. Yeah. Yeah. Something like this. So anyway, so uh, me and my colleague are working away. It's it's bumping. And I just I, I happened to look up as I was handing the customer ahead of me his his merchandise and this dude finger guns and like shoots like he as walk as he's walking by yeah he just like does a drive the, cu- by. the customer in front of you and I couldn't tell if he was shooting <clears throat> the customer or if he was shooting me and Jesus. then yeah and then he just walked out. Yeah, like he just walked in. Walk, and it's funny because they walk in and you have to walk through like a fucking, what do you call that? It's like the stanchions or whatever. Yeah, like you have to walk, like go go right, go left, go right, go yeah, left before you can get to the fucking the till to order. And he goes through the whole fucking thing and then just walks right up to the person that's in front of Sean ordering cannabis and fucking does a fucking finger gun at his head and continues to walk right out the door. Like didn't even pause. Well, and the thing is, is we didn't see him come in or anything. We were both helping the people in front of us. And then it wasn't until I watched the cameras after that. Yeah. He literally just walks in the store, does the guns and walks out. He, he didn't look at anything. He didn't break his stride. It was like it was part of his daily routine. So then he exits the store and like elbow smashes the SUV that's just outside of the store, their mirror or whatever, and like knock the mirror sideways. Jesus. And so my colleague, his uh, the customer he was dealing with, that was his vehicle. So he ran out and started screaming at the dude and then came back. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like what's going on? And the guy's like, you fucking hit my car. And, uh, and, and I was like, and didn't he like do guns at me? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. And so then he grabs the stuff, jumps in his vehicle, speeds off like a maniac after this dude. And he was just on foot. Yeah. And he was just on foot. Uh, so I don't know, like that's we the, don't know what happened after yeah, that. That's, that's the end of that. So fast, he could have mowed him the fuck over for all we know. So yeah, fuck. So, no, Whoops. he d- actually no, because what happens is the saga <laughs> continues true. throughout the day. So saga fast, continues. Yeah, Wu Tang, Wu Tang. <laughs> A born of Socrates. Fast. Um, so then, so then, uh, so then uh, yeah. So fast forward throughout the day, we keep going. That we're constantly talking to each other like what happened did you see the guy like what happened so anyway so i'm helping these people and they're like it's a first time ever being in a cannabis shop and blah 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 so i'm giving them the whole treatment trying to do oh, my, yeah. my customer those are my favorite stuff. people oh yeah. yeah so then next thing you know the the lady turns around and then turns back to me and she's like does that happen a lot and like i'm behind glass so i can't hear shit and i'm like what and she's like somebody was just screaming in the door and i was like what <laughs> I was like, you know what? Honestly, lady, today's been a weird fucking day. So I wouldn't put yeah. it past them. So, so after I finished helping them, I hopped back on the cameras. And I took a look and it's Buddy. 
the same fucking finger gun guy came back and then he opens and screams in the door or something. He just cracked no the door open and yeah. screamed. And then did it again on the exit door and then kept walking. The fuck? Yeah. So like in. But you haven't seen him since? I haven't seen him since. No. Yeah. So then my shift ends. I go home. The saga continues. Whoop tight. <laughs> Whoop tight. <laughs> so Buddy comes back again. And this time Kay's there. And Buddy. The, will, the, the manager. The manager. And, you're the assistant manager. Yeah. So then this dude walks in and pulls his mask down and yells at Kay. Yo, man, where the fuck were you when I got bear maced at the 7 <laughs> Eleven? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. The hey. next, yeah. So then <laughs> the next day I come back and Kay's telling me this. He's like, buddy came back. And then this is what he says to me. And I'm like, holy fuck. Like, do you know this guy? And he's like, yeah, he's one of our local neighborhood tweakers. He's just, he's nonviolent, but he does he's dumb a fucking shit. crazy person. Yeah. So we've, we've got a number for a constable that deals with <laughs> almost this guy specifically, plus a bunch of other shit. Like his direct fucking yeah. cell phone yeah. number. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> So anyway, so he's like, yeah, I was like, so, you know, the guy and he's like, yeah, he's this neighborhood nut job or whatever. He's nonviolent. So it's OK. But if he does come back, whatever, just call the constable. Nonviolent, know. Unless you're a vehicle. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. Like and my vehicle's right beside it. He didn't touch my vehicle. Thank God. I didn't want to have to kill a man. Oh, that day. Nah, he just looked down. He went that poor little micro. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to hit that. <laughs> I'm going to smash that little thing. You know, she's magic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so he's like, yeah, I know that guy. And I was like, oh shit, like a buddy. And he's like, no, he's always hanging out at that seven 11. The last time I saw him, he was trying to sell me a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking Mogwai. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? What? <laughs> and Kay's like, yeah, he had a Furby in a glass container. In a glass case. <laughs> and he was telling people it was a gremlin and he was trying to get people to buy it. Oh, fuck. And I'm like, you can't make that up. Yeah, like that is like <laughs> fucking that is the beauty of working in a downtown type area. Like it's insane. There man. are drawbacks, don't get me wrong, but you can't beat stories like that, man. No, but that's what I mean. Like just to have my boss straight up be like, yeah, that guy tried to sell me a gremlin. That's some, like, that's some forest lawn shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Forest lawn <laughs> shit. That's exactly what it is. So it's so interesting, but it's, uh, it's made it awesome because now I have these great stories to tell on the show. Well, yeah, no kidding. But like, well, and he has the video even like from their surveillance of the guy fucking walking right through and doing finger guns. That's yeah, how I know exactly. Yeah, what happened. I had to send it to her because I'm like, this is legit. She's what like, happened. look at what like, the fuck just happened. happened. And uh, it, like finger guns, like hey, finger guns. Or no, finger like, guns, like no, no, like, like I'm up. gonna fuck like. Like uh, execution, like Watts fucking yeah, finger execution guns. finger gun. Yeah, and like now, in the, because I got to watch the video, he was shooting the customer, not me. Which I don't know if that makes it better. Um, well, better for you, but uh, yeah, so yeah I mean, most people don't. <laughs> they, most people don't want to shoot the drug dealer, but uh, right. shit, yeah, man. So, but you don't have anything crazy like that go down for you. <laughs> No, well, he works at an upscale cannabis. I work at a corporate, <laughs> right. a corporate style store in which that kind of shit doesn't really happen. No, it's so crazy, dude. Like, it, honestly, from working where we worked to where I am now, it is the weirdest shit. <laughs> Fuck, are you did doing? You, did you just enter a haunted mansion? Yes, that is my. That's my back door. I decided I was going to step out and get some air. <laughs> <laughs> it's a luigi the beauty of mobile podcasting <laughs> yeah fuck yeah man um yeah this is this is actually really fucking awesome i'm i'm digging digging the hell out of this oh dude this is gonna happen a lot more now now that we like oh. this is perfect see i well, had well. a question for him but i wanted it to be on video because i wanted to see his ginger face go red <laughs> as fuck oh snap <laughs> We well eventually we can figure that out. I, I, no, you don't get to say shit like that <laughs> and then not ask the question. <laughs> so we have a tune girl- in next time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll tell him. So my this was my idea. So we have a girlfriend who 
like a friend of ours we've known for three, four years now. Um, and she used to work with Sean. Um, but yeah, she's, she's in kind of an open relationship where her and her man, um, accept other people into their room, their bedroom and stuff like that. Yeah. Like they've, they've been together on and off for quite a few years and yeah, they, 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 they dabble in different things. So she comes up to visit us as well. She, she's never spent the night. She's only come up for the, like a day and then she leaves and yeah. i was talking to her the one time and she's like oh at her her man's name is starts with s so we'll call him s s s, s, s thinks s. yeah mm-hmm. s thinks that all i do is come up here to fuck you guys and fuck the both of you cuz they mm-hmm. both dabble with 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 men with and both. women yeah yeah um <laughs> yeah so she's like he thinks I just come up here to fuck you all day and then come home. And I'm like, Oh my God. And she's like, I've told him a million times that you guys are not into that because he's asked like, Hey, can we hook up with them? And she's like, no, they're not into it. Yeah. But so I wanted to ask you that question of what does your wife think that goes on while you're here? (laughs) (laughs) Just to embarrass the fuck out of you. (laughs) What does your wife think happens while you're here? Because God damn. Well, she knows me very well. So right. uh, Pot and video games. Yeah, exactly. Geek stuff and podcasting. Yeah. No, but I just I I literally just wanted to see how red you would go if I asked you that question. Question, like oh. face to face I just but yeah that was funny. very that was odd because i remember you telling me and i'm like uh what, what? come again yeah <laughs> no we did not we did not <laughs> and then uh and then uh because the one time you were over there and they were he well he had kind of hinted at something yeah he got home from work and he was going to have a shower and he asked the both of us if we'd like to join him and I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. And then I left. I left before he got out of the shower because I had this terrible fear that he would walk out and not have any clothes on. Yeah. And I'd just be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I got to go. See you later. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I now need to go have a very, very hot shower of my own. <laughs> Scrub the filth from my skin. Yeah, that's right. Well, like, not there's nothing wrong with it if you want to have that lifestyle go ahead i'm just it's not for me it's not for me at all i i am not i i think if another woman touched you i would like fucking lose my (laughs) scrape her eyes out (laughs) i would i would fucking rip her face off so i and i i'm i'm very territorial like even girls that you work with if they get too close i'm like bitch you need to be that fucking close (laughs) you better step the fuck like (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. but uh, yeah, cause yeah. we've worked together before. So oh, yeah. I hold it in though. I hold in the crazy and I, I wait till you're, we get home and then right. I talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> but it was funny cause then I'm like, <laughs> well, okay, well I get it. Cause whatever, like I, I, I think you're hot. Yeah. So I get why other people be attracted to you. But then she's like, oh no, no, he wants to fuck Sean too. Yeah. He thinks Sean is, <laughs> he thinks Sean's cool. Look, good looking. And I'm like, oh, nice. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, Sean's sorry, bud. Not, not, not my <laughs> yeah, forte. Yeah. Not my thing. <laughs> no judgment. Just ain't happening. Yeah. You go ahead. Yeah. You do your yeah, thing, yeah, but you know, not I don't for give us. a shit. Do whatever you want. But just, Keep your hands off my wife or I'll fucking kill you. (laughs) I have a particular set of skills. Um, Fuck yeah. I watch a lot of horror movies. (laughs) Pretty much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So yeah, that was such, and that's just, I mean, whoever's listening and digging this thing, just, I'm sure there'll be another story of some other fucking Looney Tune thing that happens uh, in my life. Cause yeah, I don't know why I'm a beacon for crazy shit, yeah. but it's funny because I am too though. Oh no, you are super like even worse than me because <laughs> stuff actually happens to you. Like I'm, I witness things, mm-hmm. um, but nine times like shit doesn't normally happen. Like the other day I was reading uh, that film, facebook memory yeah and some uh what was it a guy wanted you to buy him boots so yeah. or shoes non-slip shoes or whatever yeah. you were at walmart and some rando just came up and asked hey can you buy these yeah, he shoes was for like me this foreign guy um came over <laughs> and he could barely speak english and he was begging me to and this was like what 2012 yeah this was years ago yeah yeah 
um, please, can you buy me these shoes? I, I, I have to have these shoes. It was a fast food restaurant. Yeah, it was to wear, to wear a Wendy's. And well, I was just going to leave the, you know, but whatever. Maybe they want to oh, throw Oh, we've us- already talked about McDonald's too, I guess. Yeah. Fuck it. We've talked about it. Um, <laughs> hey, if, if any of you guys want to throw some cheddar our way, yeah. let me know. He had got a job at Wendy's and he had to have non-slip shoes, yeah. but he didn't have the money to buy them. And they were like $30, $40. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't afford to buy you these shoes either. Like, leave me alone. Go away. Yeah. And it was, I was by my, and it was so funny because I was, Sean, when the kids were little, hardly ever wanted me to go out by myself, you know, and it wasn't because he didn't want, you know, to be home with the kids. It was because he knew crazy shit always happened to me. Always, like he was always yeah. just really protective of me. But like, yeah, like it, 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 I'd go out with, and I've had crazy shit happen to me with, like with Shabadoo, like when she was mm-hmm. little. But yeah, so to finish that, the, you you said, I'm sorry, guy, I can't buy you shoes. And you bent over to put something underneath the cart and he shoved you over, yeah. smacking your face into the into cart. Into the cart it's to fucked. walk to walk past me as he went, like to leave. He walked past me and, and shoved me into the cart and I cracked my face into the cart. Yeah, Like what a piece of shit. Yeah, like, yeah no kidding. Uh, so and that's and that's why, dude, like we were talking during our little break there, like these stories i i can't make them up like yeah. these, these yeah. things really happen to us it's the weirdest fucking thing and yeah, yeah like um so mdi just on our youtube channel uh youtube.com slash twat fm if you check it out she what, did what um the uh story of shabadoo's birth and uh a and, pg version yeah like a pg version but like we i left we out have all so the many, really horrible medical shit yeah well, you need to always do another one where you get deep, but like, we don't want to. <laughs> well, I wanted it to be positive far. and, yeah, yeah. you know, light and it's her birthday and yay. But yeah, but like, so there's so many little stories and like we talk about them on here, but I, I want to start filming them and just throwing them quick on YouTube because like, I've got so many goofy little stories that I can't believe have happened. And like over yeah. the years, like me and MDI, have talked about even writing a book of just like the stories from places I've worked, like working in hotels, man, I've seen so much shit. And then, yeah. oh yeah. So many, naked so people. many naked people, so many naked people get locked out of their rooms. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're, we're doing, we're going to start a little story time section over on the, the YouTube channel where we just tell little stories because it, it it's cool that it's in the podcast or whatever, but it, mm-hmm. it'd be nice just like for people that want yeah, that course. quick, like story. Um, yeah, why not, man? But it's, it's the, the weirdest shit, but, uh, but yeah, man, this, this, <laughs> check out our, our YouTube channel. Yeah, for more. definitely go subscribe, man. Our numbers keep going up. It's awesome. Um, that is awesome. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Later today, uh, we're going to be filming the next installment of our werewolf trilogy. Trilogy. Um, yep, yeah, I've decided. Hold yeah, on. we've is decided. There a, is there a trilogy. part two that I haven't? That I've no, 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 no. We're oh, filming okay. part two. Pretty, yeah, and we've, we've decided got... it's going to be a trilogy. Yeah, and then we're gonna take oh, a yeah, break for man. a bit. Yeah, just because like I don't want to beat it like a dead horse. Yeah, we want it to be funny. But I've got a couple of we've got a couple of really good ideas for the next. No, two. of course. But if you can make that trend. Yeah. Well, yeah. As of right now, the last time I checked the video, the last one was around 35 3600 views i think mm-hmm. Fuck yeah dude yeah so it's it's pretty amazing it's funny how silly little things like that take off or whatever but uh but yeah That's and funny. and we've had a lot of people reach out and they really enjoyed it so we have been trying to figure out exactly what we want to do and then yesterday we had a really good brainstorming session where we sat down uh, came out with some fucking banger ideas that i'm so excited for and oh, yeah. uh and yeah so then we're we're gonna shoot uh hopefully all of the shots uh for this next video and i would love to have it out next week yeah or absolutely what no by the end of this week i'm hoping we'll see we'll see either the end of this week or monday yeah and so that'll be out and people can kind of dig that and then the, we've got the next one that we've already kind of decided um how we're gonna yeah we have round it out planned for shots year. planned for the next one even yeah and so that that'll be that'll end it for the year or whatever and uh and then uh if if the mood strikes we'll we'll start doing some more stuff next year year um because it's a it's a fun little concept i just don't want it to to burn out too quick Mm -hmm. Um, yeah as well as i I would love to 
I'm probably going to have to wait until spring, summertime, but I'd love to start doing Ranger Fear again. I, and I think that'd be kind of funny. I don't see why you can't do some in the snow too, though, I mean, hon. Well, like, we have wooded area. Who wants right... to be out in the fucking <laughs> yeah. winter in the cold? Well, yeah, it's, well, right now it's like negative one and the sun is shining. It's beautiful out. Put shining. on some boots the and a fucking coat. There's no fucking problem, man. Well, I want to buy a fucking Boy Scout uniform. <laughs> if, they could, if they could make it in my size, you can't get it. In your, Maybe, I've looked. I've looked. Can we I'm, get it? We'll have to get somebody a specialized one. Custom. Yeah, exactly. Custom tailored. Because but it has to all be you shorts. Can, and it has well, to you can go out all the time. Yeah. yeah. The pants. Exactly. <laughs> the pants that you have now, if you could get them in a khaki green color, and then you just need a khaki green long sleeve shirt or short sleeve shirt i don't give a fuck we'll see i'm gonna look into this well yeah and high socks yeah because i want to look as fucking dorky as possible as i tell people the complete wrong answers to everything nature (laughs) yeah i'm i will be the anti cody peterson that guy tells you all the true shit not me yeah (laughs) <laughs> you watch him for the truth. Watch me for stupid Blair Witch things and dumbass, <laughs> dumbass shit like that. But yeah, man. And uh, I don't know. It's It's been a lot of fun. And it's funny because sometimes we get on ourselves a little bit. And I kind of touched upon it for the uh, the driving with fear um, section, a little video I did where it, I find myself sometimes comparing ourselves to where we were when we were when we, in FFC yeah, we, we at have, the height of our, our thing. And, and that's silly. It, it, it's silly. And that's when I, I take a look at the, the real things is we're, we're having way more fun than we ever have. We're yeah. right. We're making better content than we ever have. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, we we barely have 30 videos out and it's slowly climbing yeah, i we're didn't doing well. i my, i i want to say my goal was by the end of the year but i i wanted 100 <laughs> subscribers to the youtube Your channel hope. The, yeah Your hope i was hoping that would happen um, by the end of the year by the end of the year and the fact that it has it has is happened already already amazing it's awesome hell yeah man and uh and the i actually went and subscribed Oh, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. I it was it was literally like a week or two ago we were what we were doing something and you were like you're not even subscribed to our channel and I was like oh shit but I don't I don't use my YouTube you know what I mean like there's nothing on it it's just yeah no no yeah like it's just to have it so I can subscribe to others yeah exactly. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's the fact that we're already there and stuff and things are coming along really well and people are, are listening to the shows and, and, uh, I don't know. It's been good. It's 2020 has yeah, been, awesome. it's been rough, but it's been really good. Yeah. Too. We've had blessings. Yeah. Sure. Speaking of growth and, and new things, Snurfin, uh, fuck has Instagram now. Oh Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. Everybody's been harping on me about getting Finally. the Insta, the gram, the Insta, Insta to whatever the gram. gram. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still struggling on how to use the damn thing, but. Uh, it just had an update a couple weeks, a couple days ago, a few days that ago. Made it a little bit more. And confusing. it made it really different and more complicated. <laughs> I, I, it took me a while to figure out what the fuck is going on now oh but yeah like i've got the i've got the basics down i'm gonna start yeah. trying to trying to use it it's probably just gonna be like work selfies and weed selfies and use it for your weight loss too. hashtag weight loss goals and stuff like that you'll get people that'll be encouraging and more followers if you want like you know what i mean like that's a uh, Instagram is Instagram is pretty it's positive. Pretty so positive is TikTok. Thing. TikTok yeah. is really positive. If people are negative and assholes, people fucking call them out and duet them and fucking like yeah, yeah. this isn't a bullying thing, man. Fuck off. Yeah. Um, did you send him that screenshot that I, I told you you should? Of the converse oh, the sugar daddy conversation? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So when you like you started following me, I sent him, I was like you think it's okay if I if I follow this guy back? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because a couple of days before you got propositioned by a sugar daddy. Yeah, it was a good one too. What do you mean a good one? It was an, only an online relationship. Yeah, he I mean, was going to give me money daily for daily. an online 
I don't know. I didn't ask. I just blocked him. Sean told me I had to block him. That's what I said. I was like, it's no fair. He won't let me have an Instagram boyfriend. (laughs) Well, see, here's here's the thing. What we... (laughs) Because what I was thinking originally, I was like, we could just search a chick up like some porn star and just send, send pictures videos, of her bits yeah. and stuff. But he found you on Instagram, so he knows what you look like. Yeah. If all of a sudden you're like a 22 year old Asian chick, it might be weird. Yeah, it would be weird. But <laughs> unless you only show him close ups yeah. of the goods. Yeah. Or just yeah, send them funny. pictures of my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I even, I messaged Sean, I screenshotted it. I messaged Sean and I was like, what does this mean? You think like, what is an online relationship or an online agreement? I think is what it yeah. said. Um, I was like, what do you think this means? And Sean, so Sean wrote back, he wants nudes and shit. And I was like, well, damn that we should, how much money do you think I could make doing <laughs> Well, right. <laughs> and he was like, no, block him. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had a potential income. It's right. True. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh. It's hilarious. So that's why when you started following me, I screenshotted him and I'm like, you think this guy's safe? Yeah. And I was like, as long as he doesn't want to be a sugar daddy. The guy who's posted nothing but his own wedding photos. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, what was funny is um, Logic was sitting on the couch just a couple hours after you started, inst- like you, you, you started Instagram and everything. You must have followed him, too. And oh, yeah. he Full followed memory. you back. And then he was like, where the hell is Alex right now? And I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? And he was like, well, look. And I'm like, honey, that's his wedding photos. They had a destination wedding somewhere tropical. (laughs) I was like, that's like five, six years old. I think they got married quite a while ago. (laughs) He's like, oh, only three. Sorry. I was like, and then he was like, oh. And then he was so embarrassed. He's like, I'm so dumb. He's like, (laughs) you can't even travel right now because of COVID. But it was just well, like he saw can, that you, you added that new picture and he yeah. was just like, what the fuck? Because yeah. most most of the time your people shit. add new shit on yeah. Instagram, right? It's like, this is what I'm doing today. This is blah, blah, blah. So he was just like, what the fuck? That was like his initial. Yeah. He didn't think about it at all. It was just like the thought occurred to him and it popped right out of his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be all uh Every second of every day, this is who I am, what I'm doing, where I'm at. Oh, no, fuck. I I'm, I don't post every day either. I try to – Sean actually gives me shit if it's been two, three days since I posted something. He's like, oh, you got to post something. You haven't post anything in a while because you got to keep it up or you lose your followers. But – well, it all depends on what you want to do. I don't. I like, don't even I, have that many followers. Well, on and I, I, I've stopped. Like, I don't care. You do as you will. I like. I substitute posts with memes and stuff just so people interact on my page or whatever. Yeah. But like, I don't give a shit. I and find and it I think funny. that's. I think that's a good place to be at, where it's at the point where I'm. I'm having fun creating the content, and I promote it when I think of it. But in the meantime, it just seems like people are figuring it out on their own. So that yeah. kind of helps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Name's Cog. Name's <laughs> Cog. You call like the leader around here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Okay, so let's wrap this shit up. Uh, Snurfin, where can people find you on the interwebs? Um, well, if you are looking He's for me on Twitter, I'm at... <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter, I'm at the real Snurfin because my old account, reasons, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, and... On Instagram, it's just at Snurfin. Nice. But there's not really a whole lot on there. But I'm going to start throwing stuff up there once I figure out how to. Yeah, fuck it. How to do that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, don't worry. It, it'll happen. Just have yeah. fun. Again, it's the biggest thing is just have fun. And if you hate it, fucking get rid of it. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Just po- yeah. Fuck, po- <laughs> fucking take a picture of what you're fucking smoking, uh, like in your bong, or if you're fucking smoking a joint and just hashtag whatever the fuck company you're like, if it's can, can like whatever the fuck, can yeah. cabana, like whatever the fuck, right? Like, yeah. and do shit like that, and you'll get, you'll get a little bit of traction and it'll be fun. That's fuck. Yeah. I just do it because it's fun. Yeah. Um, same with TikTok. I thought TikTok was going to be stupid, but I'm actually having fun over there too. Um, yeah. I'm, I might check it out. No promises. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and then, and, and let, like, it, it's all, again, it's all in what you want to do. Like don't ever get over into it. And it's you feel obligated yeah. to any of that shit. And TikTok, right. you don't have to post anything. You can just follow people and yeah. watch. Yeah. And you watch, don't have to do anything like videos yeah. and shit. You but don't have to post stuff if you don't want to. I, po- I post a lot of our stuff all over on a, my Instagram story anyway. So, but, uh, I do want to, we're talking about starting to go live over there. Oh yeah. And I don't know if we'll go, maybe yeah, we'll go we live. Over a thousand followers. Yeah. Maybe we'll go live on TikTok on yours and then live on Instagram on mine. And then we can do like uh fears five or something like that. Cause that was always oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. It was always good. A lot of people really enjoyed the fears five and, um, I've got a book. I'm telling you, that's not something that's going to do well on TikTok. No, but I, on the live, huh? doing a live version. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And why, why do you think you don't think it'll do good on TikTok? <laughs> no, because I've never seen anybody like as much as time as I spent on TikTok. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Hmm. So Maybe that's why it needs to happen. Yeah. No, it's, it's just not, no, but I don't I get know. It's you. not that it's just. No, and that's and that is good intel to have because I don't. I, I go on, I'll create something, but I don't watch TikTok. Yeah, right. um, you made me do that. Yeah, that's your job. And uh, literally, he's told me this is your job. It's your job to go on, watch videos, comment, share, like stuff, be interactive. Because all I'm gonna do is put videos on there. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. I just want to create the content. One day, I would love to have people that do all that shit for us, and we just make shit. But oh, until right. then, that's your job. <laughs> so MDI always the admin assistant. Exactly. MDI, <laughs> where can people find you on the interwebs? Oh yeah, I thought oh, I forgot we were wrapping up here. <laughs> well, that's it's easy when you're talking with buddies. You just kind of I know, going. you just want to talk all fucking day. Yeah. Uh, people can find me on Instagram at the real MDI. Yeah, that's that's all you gotta say. That's all you really need. Yeah, that's yeah. the only one that you really check. And, that's and then fun. we have TikTok together. Yep. Oh, I yeah. don't have my own. And I believe that's at Twat FM on TikTok. At Twat FM. I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now we kind of got things. I'm trying to decide if I want to not rebrand, but like right now I've got some of our URLs. 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 As like. URLs. So like our, URLs. our Facebook is facebook.com slash fear and MDI. Same with Patreon. Patreon.com slash fear and MDI. But well, yeah, because Facebook, I don't think would let us have Twat FM. Like Facebook yeah. is more. I was nervous YouTube PG. wouldn't let me have it, but they did. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna have to be kind of both. Yeah, and that's fine. If you look up a hashtag Twat FM, you'll find us. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Oh definitely. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, if you want to see shit, like I said, you can check out the Patreon, the Facebook. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Fearinus and. Uh, and if and when you post snurf and if and when you post uh, like weed photos and stuff, always hashtag FM. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then if you want, tag me or I'm sure you'll pop up and I'll make sure I pass that shit around like a doobie. I do like me. a doobski. Like doobie a doobski. But yeah, man. Thanks for listening. Uh, it's been great. Snurf and thanks for popping onto the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, man. we'll definitely it's been a while. be on this again. Yeah, man. It's, oh, yeah. it's been great. So, uh, it's been a while. Yeah, this is the, the whole winter thing. But the good thing is this is this worked. I was nervous, but this worked perfectly. So this is definitely going to be something we do more. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. As always, thank you for being the gorgeous co-host and all around stoner chick. As she puffs on her cushions. <laughs> it's almost gone. I'm literally sucking the very last bits. Out there it, of it is. I'm going to crop that and use that as my ringtone. Giggity goo. Giggity. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Until next week, run along, kitties. Peace. Peace.